nowhere on the road again. Don't know if I'll be back again because I won't be back again for quite a while. I just made that song up. You've never heard it before in your life. Nope, never. Nope, nope, nope. Logan's my co-pilot. Logan. He's already ignoring me. This is going to be a great trip. So it is 6.49 a.m. on the Saturday, July 1st, <laughs> Independence Month. Wow! Hey, spinning the ones and twos on the Winnebago. Actually, we have eight. We have six tires. Anyways, uh, we are heading out to Salt Lake City. Stop number one. Well, we'll, we'll stop some other places along the way, but we are going to go all the way to Salt Lake City tonight in the old RV. Yes, we are. We are heading out of town. Out of town, out of town. We're going to go down the big old hill. Uh, what? I really thought we were going to live in a Texas and Oregon. We're gonna, there's, there's, there is a Dallas in Oregon. Yeah, it's um, far away. It is far away. Um, it's like it's like almost two hours away, but uh, and it's a little tiny town, nowhere near the Dallas that we're gonna be in. Uh, so we are on our way to Dallas. You ready, kids? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're ready. They are. All right. Uh, oh, by the way, we're driving this without a catalytic converter because somebody stole it. Hence why we're leaving. Uh, I don't know. They get stolen all over the country. Anyways, uh, so we're on straight pipe. So our so, so our, our our RV sounds like hot rod, hot rod, hot rod cooking. So here we go. Destination Lone Star. Halloween. It's not a holiday. It's a lifestyle. All right. So we've had a little bit of excitement. We've had some lunch. Try to close this so you can hear me a little bit. Uh, yeah, so we are in Idaho. Uh, yeah, see, Idaho looks like Idaho, huh? There's windmills, it's Idaho. That's actually right there. Yep, a lot of stuff in it. Uh, but yeah, we uh, had to transfer the cats out of the RV into the truck because they were not doing well in the heat. The AC in this thing still does not work very well, if at all. Uh, I put more in it, and it still doesn't. It like does it once every like hour. It'll do it, but not really cold. So I think it's got a pressure issue uh, or something else. So I, I I should have gotten it serviced. I didn't think about it with all the home buying stuff. I wasn't thinking about this part of it. Uh, but each night we're only driving. We're driving to Colville, Utah, uh, not Salt Lake, and. Uh, get an RV spot there. So every night we're going to stop and do fun stuff and stay in RV parks. So all night we'll be able to be in the air conditioning and all that. So that'll help a lot. But uh, the kids are doing good back here. They're doing something back there. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're, maybe they're laying down. I don't know what they're doing. Logan's asleep down there somewhere. Down there. So, yep. We are four hours away from our stop for the night. Uh, so we'll get there about nine an actual resort so it's got a pool and everything so hopefully it's open until like 10 and then kids can jump in real fast uh but we'll see uh so yep uh we'll do a little video there and then uh we'll be on to day two we're gonna go to the grand canyon yeah well we are in park city utah right now and uh, one of the cool things is it's behind us now, but I'll show you a picture, a couple pictures right here. But uh, they do hot air balloons here. This is really cool. Um, I've seen hot air balloons on the ground. I don't think I've ever seen one in the sky. Um, we have a festival or our old town used to have a festival uh, in June, uh, the Tiger Festival of Balloons. And uh, generally it was always too windy to make them go off, so they would just burn them uh, on the ground and let them, you know, let them, in let them inflate, but not um, go up. And oh, there's one. I'll zoom in later. <laughs> it's, it's right, there's so many bugs on this windshield, you can't tell the difference. Uh, but there is one just off to the right of that mountain over there, or that hill. Um, oh, no, oh, there's another one there too. Uh, so as we come around the mountain here, uh, I love driving through Utah. Uh, we're actually driving through the backside of Salt Lake City right now uh, on our way to Provo. 
Uh, so we can go down to Grand Canyon. We're gonna go down a big hill. Uh, so yeah, there's a hot air balloon over there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm uh, driving. Anyways, uh, so we are having a great time so far. Whoa, that's really zoomed in. There we go. Uh, yeah, we're having a great time. Uh, we have uh, it's 7:41 in the morning, Mountain Time, and we had breakfast at the Polar King Drive-In. It was great over in uh, Colville. Utah, where we stayed uh, uh, at the Echo Island RV Resort uh, for nine hours. <laughs> we got there in the dark, left in the morning. I have no idea what, what goes on in that place. I know there's a pool and stuff uh, and uh, a store, but we just got there and left. Uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, there's several hot air balloons over there. All right, I'll get these. Well, I'm going through a construction zone right now, but uh, yeah. I love driving through Utah. Uh, so we're gonna do some sightseeing at the Grand Canyon and then stay at Bedrock City. Yabba dabba doo! Yes, it is the uh, Flintstones Tourist Trap Village. We're actually gonna stay the night there. So uh, we'll see some hot air balloons here in just a second. So there's two right there. And then there's another two right there up there, and one way up there. I think that whole little town over there is just filled with hot air balloons. That's so cool. I love that. That's why you gotta travel the country, people. You gotta get yourself an RV. Travel the country. Drive on dead bugs. Man, you're ruining my video.
is it always a joke? It's a joke. Anyways, uh, yep, we're still in Utah. We're gonna follow this FedEx truck until we get there. <laughs> uh, yeah, stop for gas. That was cool. Got some stickers there for the RV, so that'll be cool. Uh, yeah, so we're still on our way. Do it, make it really good time. So we'll be there about 3.30ish at the Grand Canyon, so that'll be cool. take this wrong turn any day. So we took a wrong turn like, I don't know, 60, 70 miles ago, something like that. But we're still gonna be on time. But we get to see stuff like this. I am A-OK -okay with that. We are on our way to the Grand Canyon. But it still is cool. All right, so we're trying to figure out what this is. So it's clouds, but it also looks like it's coming up from the canyon walls there. There's even, like, I don't know if we can see it very well because it's such a driving, but see where it's a little darker down there? And it goes up, that's really weird. Look at it. right there. It's almost like it's going up into the clouds or it's like a monsoon or something, I don't know. Maybe that's a tornado down there on the bottom, on the left. That's so weird looking. It's cool though. The scenic route is so cool. We'll do a video when it gets a little closer to it. It's there. So I'm thinking they're fires. Let's see, because they're more black. There's several of them. So the clouds are keeping the smoke down. That's crazy. We have a cow on the road. I made a dad joke about a cow in the road not moving. <laughs> move. This car up here needs to move. At the top of this line of people, there is a car that is going 25 on this road. It was under, it's being paved, okay? And we all, we all understand that. There's no construction going on though. So you don't have to actually go 25 on it right now because there's no actual construction and the road is done. But since it's 4th of July weekend, they didn't take down the actual signs that say 25. They're just pushed off to the side of the road. Also, there's a fire in front of us, right there. Uh, you can't see it because of the white balance, but it's right there. See, there you go. So we're actually gonna go through a forest fire. It's gonna be great. There we go. 